Thank you very much. Miss Broyard? Yes. Hi, Gary Ewing. I'm sorry I'm late. You're not. I'm early. <laughs> well, I was delighted to get your phone call. Tidal Energy is always interested in meeting new investors. Except I'm not interested in Tidal Energy. Um, you said over the phone. Please forgive me, but I had to make certain that you'd come. Mr. Ewing, I've heard some disturbing rumors about Tidal Energy. About how some solid citizens have gone out on a limb for it. Well, like most rumors, that one's totally wrong. Tidal Energy is rock solid. Not if it's founded on Pierce Lawton, is it? Uh, no, thank you. Maybe you better explain yourself. If you're talking about the Daedalus, I know all about that. No one knows all about the Daedalus except Pierce. But that isn't what I came to tell you about. It's something else. Mm. I swear I could live on martinis forever. I like men who don't drink. It allows me to hope they save their strength for other vices. Miss Broyard, what's the real purpose of this meeting? To warn you that the fair-haired Pierce isn't all that he seems to be. Why do you care? Does that matter? Yeah. It helped me believe you if I knew what your reasons were. They're personal. But you must have guessed that. I did. Excuse me. Mr. Ewing. Gary. That doesn't mean what I say about him isn't true. You're aware of his previous business ventures? Yeah, he owned a shirt company in North Carolina. Have you spoken to the people he sold it to? I saw the documents of sale. But have you talked to them? And there was a newspaper, too, in Detroit. He sold it to the employees when he left. Call them, Mr. Ewing. And then if you feel like it. Call me.